Okay, let's go ahead and do our back wheels here. Now remember, I have everything on this side mirrored, but not only do I have it mirrored, I have it instance mirrored. So whatever I do to this side will do to this side also. So let's go ahead here. Let's go in and let's select our wheel and let's copy it over to about right there looks pretty good now let's do the same thing again and bring it over one more time oh I see okay it was behind my board there and I couldn't see it so now we have that wheel so let's go ahead and select it copy and paste it and we'll bring it over like so and we'll bring it out in front like so okay like that it was behind this and I couldn't see it so now let's go ahead and do it one more time to get our last wheel out here And again, let's bring it forward to where we can see it. About like so. Okay. Now let's roughly go in here and place in the connecting rods. So I'm going to select this polygon and we're going to bevel it in. Like so. And I'm going to shift click, bevel it in again, shift click, and push it straight back to create a hole bevel it shift click and bevel it in again like so shift click and I'm gonna bring it out just a little bit well actually I'm gonna bring it way out here and scale it out like this okay now we got that little plug there so let us let's see what could we do I guess we could come straight from here to here or we could come straight from here to here is what we'll do and then we'll come from here to down here. So let's go ahead and get a cube and let's draw a cube out. Like so. Don't want to make it too wide, you know. Just wide enough. And I'm going to line it up roughly with that piece right there. I guess I could make it a tad wider. Like so. Okay, that's looking okay. Now let's grab this end polygon. And I'm going to scoot it over so I can see here. And we'll stop it about right there, I guess. Okay, that's looking okay. Let's go ahead and double click this and just scale it in a tad. So it won't be quite so wide. Okay, now we've got our little board sitting there. in place. Now let's select this end polygon. Let's bevel it up like this. Let's shift click bring it out again. Like so. And we'll make it fairly long there. Like so. I'm going to bring this out and rotate it Tad. like so okay now we got this little block here so I'm going to take this and I'm going to bevel it in like so scale it down make it a little more square and of course on this end we can grab the back of this polygon and bevel it 
and just shift click and roughly extrude it because nobody's going to see you back in there anyway okay so let's go ahead and take our action center to local let's scale it out a little bit until it's right in the center there it looks like we need just a little twist and a little guidance there okay we have our primitive block so let's go on in and let's extrude this straight through like this right through that opening that we um, made and let's shift click again extrude it again and this time we'll bring it down here like this like so and of course we want to bevel this out to a square just like last time go ahead and select that back polygon there and let's bevel it in and extrude it out make it attached there and you know what actually we could if we wanted to I'm going to loop this I'm going to select this and let's see here what could we do I guess I could leave it that way that looks okay for now I'd actually like to bring this down like this attach it here like so and then move in here with these and move it down it might look a little better attached this way instead of in the center and now let's take this polygon and we'll just move it around like so there now we're gonna bring this one of course straight across now y'all need to do these a little better put your own spin on things okay and that's a little bit too big I think so let's bevel that in a little bit more like that and now let's bevel it out and pull it out and we'll bring it here of course and this time I'm going to bring it up to about right here. That right there looks good. And we'll bevel this out. Like always. In the polygon mode I will loop this. Command X to cut it, Command V to paste it, that makes it its own deal. And I can adjust them. I'm moving it out a little bit so it won't be so close to um, the wheel. Like so. Let's bring this down. And back like so now I'm gonna grab the edges here since this is a steel shot this isn't being animated it doesn't really matter now I can take this wheel and rotate it around like this
Okay, now we got that roughly laid in there. And we have a completed locomotive. Now this was rough. This I'm doing this fast because I don't want to have 12 parts making these rails. Now I have a completed one here. Let's see. Like so. Now let me go ahead and select all these. Now as you can see, I went in here and done a little bit better job on these off camera. You can get a good look at them so you can remake them on your own. I just took a cylinder and butted up against it there and extruded from the cylinder, as you can see. And there's our completed choo-choo train. So I hope you guys have learned something.